Good morning, everyone. My name is Charlie Wydans, CEO of the Palo Alto Chamber of Commerce, and it's my pleasure to welcome you here today to the 40th anniversary of the Palo Alto Festival of the Arts. It's a beautiful day here on University Avenue. In fact, you can see we've only been open for about one hour. Crowds are already building for what will be a great weekend here for the Festival of the Arts. Palo Alto Festival of the Arts is celebrating 40 years and it really has become a staple of the summer here in Palo Alto. We have over 250 artists, food vendors, and very, very important are the sponsors that are part of this event and come back each year to support the event. Hi, my name is Frank. We have Alec and Paul. We are the South Bass Wonders. We play blues, Dixieland, New Orleans inspired music. I met Paul through an advertisement and we met Alec on the sidewalk. And mostly what we do is we just go to random sidewalks, play music like this, all acoustic. And uh, yeah, just try to make people happy, just bring some life to the street. It's my first time here, it's really nice. Nice downtown. We are very fortunate to have Pacific Fine Arts as the uh, company that helps us to identify the artists that are here as part of this festival. Uh, they take a lot of time during the year to uh, uh, talk with the art vendors and make sure that they are providing the quality and the variety that we want here on University Avenue for our guests to uh, be able to see. Hi, I'm Michelle Yamaguma and I do collage art that happens to have Japanese theme. And my passion is uh, my environment and catching movement in the art. Uh, this is a, a sample of uh, uh, some of the higher end art that I do. The Fuji Mountain is hand painted with watercolor. Then I also collage on some Japanese washi paper elements, such as the cranes that are cut out. And then there's some torn elements here of Japanese papers. So there's very different, many techniques. There's, a, there's kitagami, which is cut paper. There's chigire, which is torn paper. And then there's original art. And then besides the whole collage, it's in, a, in, in the deeper shadow frame. This festival has many great artists, entertainment, and food. It's a very family oriented and friendly, pet friendly uh, fair. So it's, it's a nice, pleasant one to walk through. And the weather's always usually great at this festival. My name is Paul Yost. Uh, my wife, Jenna Latecki Yost, and myself are the artists that create Firesmith Copper. Uh, we've been in business about 11 years full time. Um, we make flame painted copper artwork by using a torch to turn copper sheeting different colors. And then we etch our designs freehand uh, with abrasive tools to create uh, the designs on the copper surface and also seal it. So it never fades or changes colors. It stays the same for the rest of its lifetime. My wife's parents are artists as well. They showed us how to put a little color on the copper and, and some design ideas. and. We've kind of gone our own direction from there. They actually learned from another artist, so it's kind of been passed down, and we're happy to be the new generation. We really are excited about having this event each year, not only for our guests and visitors to come and visit all of the artists, but it gives exposure to the businesses here on University Avenue. And we hope that as people are shopping uh, up and down the street looking for their favorite artists, that they're also taking advantage of all of the businesses, the restaurants that we have on University Avenue here, and finding out how great uh, an opportunity is to come to downtown Palo Alto and shop. Hi, I'm Francine Fiesel, and I'm a ju jewelry designer that has been selling at this art fair for close to 25 years. I 
mainly work with freshwater pearls, but I love semi-precious stones. I love natural beauty. And most of my work is one of a kind. And I love to help women find jewelry that goes with their style, with their natural coloring, and jewelry that they would wear every day. This is jewelry that doesn't sit in the drawer. It's jewelry that you wear to go out, to go to the store, as well as to go to a party or to the theater. And um, I have a loyal customer base who's been collecting my work for many years, and I delight in finding new pieces for them that um, will update their collection. This show has a really good history of being one of the finest, most highly juried art festivals in the Bay Area. I want to give a special thanks to our sponsors that are here each year. Thanks to them and their support, we're able to put on an event like this. And I also want to give a special thanks to our Kiwanis volunteers who manage our beer and wine booths. And thanks to their support, we are able to give proceeds from the event to our nonprofits, as well as support our businesses here in Palo Alto. My name is Tom Huang. I'm uh, from uh, the Stanford Healthcare Marketing Team. I'm here with our amazing instructor, Al, uh, to kind of teach people how to do CPR and Heimlich uh, maneuver today. Life itself, you can argue, is an art. So uh, we want to keep the art uh, of life going. The whole community, may, they may be here uh, for some other purposes, to look at some other art or exhibition, but we are here as well. And then people do realize the essential skills that we are teaching here today. So they are showing strong, strong interest in and super engaged. So I think it's a very good turnout so far. And another favorite part of the weekend for me is the Kids Art Studio and the Italian Street Painting Expo. This year, the Oshman Family JCC and the Palo Alto Arts Center are sponsoring the Kids Art Studio. They have a lot of projects for the kids to take part in for the weekend. And then, of course, the Italian Street Painting Expo. When you see the, the chalk artists, you'll just be amazed with the work that they do and how it transforms from Saturday through the end of day Sunday two of the more favorite parts of the weekend for us. So the Palo Alto Arts Festival is, we've been doing it for about six years. It is a great group of artists, very talented people here. If you get a chance to come down, you will not be disappointed. There are so many wonderful artists here that have different mediums, different styles, and it's just a great afternoon. So in closing, I just want to say that we appreciate everyone that's here, our artists, our food vendors, our sponsors, everyone that made this happen. And we hope that you will enjoy this weekend here at the 40th anniversary of the Palo Alto Festival of the Arts. <laughs>